my name is Laura. Thank you for taking a look at our tiny house that we have for sale. Um, so I'll just tell you a little bit about it and then give you a short tour of it. Um, all of the details are listed in our listing, including some photographs with showing the details of some of the storage and whatnot. Uh, so please take a look there. Um, so there were a couple of things that we really liked about this unit. We had looked at a number of other units, uh, and what really stuck out here was the, the number, size, and placement of windows, which allows tons of light into this place and keeps it from f feeling um, cramped or small. It, it opens it up quite a bit. Um, the other thing is that we liked the simple layout of the living room, kitchen in the middle, uh, and bathroom and laundry at the end. Window in the bathroom is nice as well. Um, the other thing are the two doors. So we have a, the patio door on the what we call the back and an entry door on the front. Um, so that, that along with the storage and the, the new stairs that we have, um, which add tons of storage and allow easy access to the sleeping loft. Uh, so those are some things that we, we really liked about, about the home uh, and have made it uh, pretty easy and comfortable to live in. Um, so we purchased it about a year ago. Uh, it was built in 2020, so it's a little over three years old. So we've had it a little over a year and been living here and, and enjoying this new uh, lifestyle uh, this kind of minimalist lifestyle, uh, and I really come to uh, enjoy that. Um, when we purchased it, we planned to uh, relocate it from here in Wisconsin down to the mountains of Virginia uh, and spend our retirement down there in this. Uh, we did find a piece of land, but unfortunately it has deed restrictions which don't allow us to take this down. So that's why we're unfortunately having to sell it. Uh, we're gonna continue to live small, just so you know, um, and, and continue to enjoy that, that type of lifestyle. Um, so it is, uh, this, this house was built by uh, Tiny Mountain Houses. It was a custom model, so it's longer than their normal, it's 30 feet long. Um, it was built in 2020, as I said. So those are the main features and the, some ideas about why we like it uh, and why we're selling it. Um, so uh, let me give you a brief tour. Uh, and then, like I say, please uh, check out the photos and description. To so here we are outside in what we consider the front of the house and our front door. Uh, you enter in and you see the kitchen in front of you. Uh, and then as you turn to the left, you have the stairs that go up to the main loft, the main sleeping loft. So, uh, and then as you come through, you'll see the fairly decent sized living space with the beamed ceiling uh, and we currently have a single love seat in here we did have an l-shaped sofa that worked well also um, that could be available if anybody's interested um, so you can see all of the window that i spoke about earlier and the patio door that goes out what would be the back of the house uh, and then as you come around, we have a TV that swings out when we want to watch TV. So when sitting, this is kind of the view you get here. Um, and you can see down to the bathroom window. You see all of the gas appliances, ample storage in the cabinets, uh, and in the stairs. And you can see all the details of that in our listing with photos and description. Um, Nice farm sink with this, again, tall window. We have the shade down at the moment, but uh, 
So you can see what the shades look like. Every window has shades like that. And they come uh, down from the top as well if you prefer to have the bottom closed and the top open, which can be nice. Um, so there's our cooking area with exhaust fan. Refrigerator, again, that has ice maker and uh, that shares a filter with the drinking fountain here on the sink faucet. Uh, that's a basically a brand new refrigerator. It's a few months old. Um, and then you come into the bathroom. You can see the nice size vanity, which has the matching quartz countertops as the kitchen and tile backsplash. The mirrored medicine cabinet has a ton of storage in it, mirrored inside as well. So it kind of lightens up the place when you open the door. Cabinet above the toilet for linens and whatnots. And then we have our Cinderella toilet, incinerating gas toilet, which works great. Um, and then on this side, we are currently using this space for a closet because we have laundry facilities on the property, but the unit will come with uh, a washer and dryer washer on the bottom, dryer on the top, a real nice 24 inch unit. And then the shower across the 36 inch unit with the nice removable spray. Uh, there's a pocket door here that closes off the bathroom for privacy, of course. And then you have the stairs as you come back out, that take you up to the loft, sleep, main sleeping loft. Uh, so I'll walk up here. So you can walk up to, I'm 5'8", and I can get to basically the last stair before I have to crouch over a little bit. Uh, so this is very comfortable space to sleep in. I can sit up in that bed and read or watch TV. I've only hit my head maybe once the first day I got up here. So I'm approaching 60 and uh, I don't have any issues uh, getting up into that bed um, and then on the other side is my wife's office which she enjoys the nice space up there the views and whatnot um, and you can see there the mini split unit that keeps this place very comfortable all year round um, So that's kind of it. I'll show you the little office space. Of course, this could be used for a multitude of different activities, sleeping. You could have another TV room, reading room up here. Um, ceiling fan that we typically have on 24 hours a day, which keeps air moving and keeps it very, like I say, very comfortable in the space. So that's the inside. I'll take you out through what we call the front door. We'll try to get a view of the outside. It's a beautiful sunny day here, so there might be some sun in the camera. But you can see the big windows up and down. Um, so here's the front of the trailer with the mini split that is running, if you can hear that. There's a cabinet here for our gas bottle. Here is what is consi we consider the back of the house. And the stack there is for the incinerating toilet. The black door is the Truma water heater. Very efficient. Works great. Very happy with that. Uh, we, the house did come with a flush toilet. So the plumbing, most of the plumbing, I should say, remains. So if uh, some were, were interested in exchanging for a flush toilet that could be done fairly simple. Um, so we also have the decks here. Um, there's seven of those panels I believe that are available if someone's interested. Um, there is the up on top there you can see there's an outlet that is switched from the inside. 
So we come back around to the front and you can see that deck that's there. So that's it. That's the outside. Thank you for watching.